Hey Roger here, in this video I'm going to be checking out a new Terraria roguelike mod to roguelike. This mod literally got updated yesterday and I'm very eager to check out some of the new content. Please enjoy my blind playthrough of this new version. Going to the tough, which definitely weren't here. The first time I played it, like a week ago. So um, I'm just gonna... Yeah, give it a go. See what it's like. There's probably a lot of new stuff, so... Yeah, we'll see. Um, but there's a cannon and there's a rifle. I don't know which one to go with. But honestly, I'll go with the cannon. And I'm assuming the blade's the same, so I'll go with the spear. Um, and we'll go on Blood Moon difficulty. Mm, Big Mac. I love Big Macs. Oh, oh my. Okay. I don't know if there's any dungeons or anything. I'm completely blind. Okay, I've seen this before. Oh my god. This is actually quite good. Okay, that's quite cool. Hey, current me speaking. First impressions on the cannon were actually pretty good. I thought it was an alright weapon for splash damage. Although I thought the gun probably was better at this point. Now the cannon might actually be a bit too good. Because it did fill me with a lot of confidence. You know they actually come with the best at this game? Because of how good I am. Oh, the terrible item bro worthless now because of the nature of roguelike games and the randomness of the items that you get it is obviously going to be pretty hard to find the new items if i don't know which ones are new and which ones are old so i'm just looking at items that i've got before and if i haven't had them i'll just assume they're new that's not new um it's five health every time i don't get hit i'm not careful oh wait if it crits that actually could be good on the bead, not bad. Get some barrier going. Let's try the spear. Oh, it's just like a regular spear. That's kind of boring, honestly. Oh, coolant. Oh, that's actually really good. In the video, I'm just going to be skipping past most of the um, room sections as they're actually just the same thing with slightly different enemies. Because you use the same weapon constantly, it actually just gets so repetitive. So I'm just going to be skipping through most of them. You'll see um, me getting the odd item here and there, but mo most of the fighting will just be cut out. Strong through tiles, which is nice to know. And this is not the box. Oh, it is. Yeah, this boss is kind of easy. It just... It's just... Really easy, honestly. Oh, I've not seen this before. I don't know if it's new or not. Um, well, that's kind of useless, but you know. Maybe I can trade it away. Crimson, I've actually never beat the boss on this one. Um, it's pretty hard. Like I said, I am just going to be skipping straight to the boss. And honestly, the boss in this one is kind of underwhelming. I did struggle with it originally, but now with a cannon, bro, it is so easy. I didn't even bother showing you. Was easy. I've actually never beat him before. We got a steam engine, which um, it's just I've had that before. Extra life every time you kill an enemy. I've never been here. This will be interesting. Oh wait, no, I've been here before actually. This didn't last very long. It's just free health basically. I actually only got 200 health because of the steam engine. Living crystal. That's just free regen. What are we looking at? Yeah, it's mini boss. And attack plan is free damage. Oh, 
Tanky? Weak? <laughs> actually weak bro. And it gives me another steam engine, there's no way. That's actually kinda like insane. What's next? <laughs> we got a shot. Uh, um, a legendary. I've never had that before. Honestly reckon we get rid of the door shield. I don't know what this is. Drone buddy. Give me a drone. Oh that's good. That's That's worth it. Um, this one is really good, so I will be getting as many as these possible. I'm gonna sacrifice as many useless items. A new update though, definitely worth playing. It's kind of insane. I don't know if this guy's new or not. I've, I've never had him before. I've never had a lot of legendaries, clearly. Unless they're all new, but I highly doubt that. Too big. Oh, tapeworm, how useless is that? Spawn out the map half the time. Alright. I've got so much, like, loot, bro. It's, I want a boss, because I feel like a boss would be a challenge. Okay, it's going to be Queen Bee, probably. Which might be interesting. It's probably not going to be a regular Queen Bee. Barrel, bro. Ten percent. So it, it's not diminishing. I'm just gonna get rid of everything I don't care about. Um. Oh, it's actually crazy that I've got six of these. It's actually kind of crazy. Um, these are useless, and that's kind of useless. Okay. I've been here before, and I died to the boss. Oh my god, another rusted shield. Alright, well we're getting close to the boss now. This is the boss, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And we got the spent shell. Okay, that's actually kind of cold. I can't. Why is that green? Oh, the attack speed decreased. That is not worth it at all, there's no way. I've never been here. Uh, a lot of bricks, cool. Something tells me this is not a level. And it appears to be an infinite corridor, but you know, it can't go forever, so... I think we're supposed to sit down. No? Okay. Honestly, like the Martian bricks plus Luminite, kind of cold. Oh, it's Moon, it is, oh, it's Moon Law Geyser. Okay, don't tell me he's the boss. Actually, that would be kind of cold, I can't lie. Challenge, I can't lie. Okay. Why do my rockets just shoot out of his mouth? That is kind of cool. Oh. Okay, that actually does a lot of damage. And I 
have no idea how to avoid it. I'm just gonna take all, all the out. Okay, well I died instantaneously. You see what I mean? See what I mean? It's so easy and then so hard. Now I was actually referencing a different part of the video that I cut out, but what I'm saying is that most roguelike games have this pattern where it's really easy until a certain boss, and then it just becomes impossibly hard. I mean, I was playing Dead Cells the other day, and it's really, really easy until this certain boss, and then it's just impossible. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Do go check out the update yourself. It's not a bad update. The guns are certainly cool, like fun to use, but in my opinion, the Moon Lord boss definitely needs a nerf because it is way more powerful than all the other bosses. And you think you're so OP, but when you walk into that room, bro, you got shredded like 50 a hit, bro. Not fair.